we've discovered thousands of exoplanets in solar systems that exist beyond our own. But with our current space travel technology, it's difficult, if not nearly impossible, to visit these alien worlds. Current propulsion engines require lots of fuel and the maximum distance they can cover is but a grain of sand when compared to what is required. However, a theoretical physicist known as Miguel Alcubier published a remarkable paper in 1994 titled The Warp Drive, Hyperfast Travel Within General Relativity. In this paper, Miguel uses shape functions to create curves in space around a spaceship. You see, Einstein discovered that mass and energy cause space to bend. And when space bends, objects traveling through this bend are pulled into the curved space. We think that this is what causes the effect of gravity. Miguel Alcubierre explains in his paper that if you can get space to contract or bend inwards in front of the spaceship, while getting space to expand or bend outwards behind the spaceship, then motion can occur. Although the spaceship and astronauts within it will travel a distance, they won't experience any forces due to acceleration, which is actually a good thing, because very high accelerations can result in a high enough force, which can be extremely dangerous. The reason the astronauts will not experience a force due to acceleration is because technically, they're not moving within the space they occupy, but the space around them is the thing that's moving. Scientists have observed that space itself can and is expanding faster than the speed of light, but objects within space can never travel faster than the speed of light. Due to this, there is no set limit to the speeds that can be achieved using this theoretical warp technology. Here is a simulation using Space Engine of a spaceship using this theoretical technology. It's covering a thousand light years per second, traveling to the Andromeda Galaxy. Notice how the vessel is within the warp bubble. At such a speed, it would take 42 minutes to cover 2.5 million light years. The travelers in this spaceship could visit the Andromeda Galaxy and be back in time for dinner. As awesome as it would be for such a thing to exist, there are limitations to this type of technology. In order to bend space inwards, you need a large gravitational force which could be done by large amounts of energy, and this part is plausible. However, in order to bend space outwards, so behind the spaceship, you would need negative energy. Negative energy implies negative mass. We have not discovered such mass, and our current models within physics suggest that it cannot exist. But something is causing the universe to expand faster than the speed of light, and we also don't know what is causing this to happen. So we're kind of journeying into the unknown with this type of technology. The amount of energy required to cover distances such as a thousand light years per second would be astronomical. So even if we do discover some form of negative energy, we would still be limited in the speed we could travel at due to the enormous amounts of energy required. A spaceship using an Alcubierre drive coming into contact with particles along the journey could have a devastating result. Some scientists suggest that matter would build up in the curved space at the front of the spaceship as it is being captured along the way. Upon deactivating the curved space in the front of the ship, the captured matter would be shot forward at speeds close to the speed of light, causing catastrophic gamma ray bursts to anything in its path. Other scientists say that such a situation isn't really a problem, as matter would not get stuck in the curvature at the front, but instead pass around the warp bubble of the spaceship. It was also suggested that radiation would be repelled by the warp bubble as well, that being said, I think it's safe to say that we are still uncertain as to what would happen in such an event. Even if we build a warp drive that can travel at these incredible speeds, we'd have no way to communicate with the spaceship. Some people say quantum entanglement might be a solution, but they are wrong, for reasons we'll address in an upcoming video. The initial energy requirements for the Alcubierre drive to work, as calculated by Miguel Alcubierre, was in the magnitude of all the energy in the universe. However, since then, physicists such as Eric Lentz and Sonny White 
recently revised Alcubierre's calculation so that the positive energy required at the front of the ship was brought down to one Earth mass, whilst the negative energy required at the back would be about 700 kilograms or the size of an elephant. Although we currently don't know if negative energy exists in reality, progress is still being made on the Alcubierre drive from scientists all over the world. There was a time where we thought the atom was made up of a solid sphere, and this was the prevailing model in science. We've come a long way since then, and are still discovering things that are breaking and changing our models in physics. Although we don't have what is currently needed to create the Alcubierre drive, we do have fingers that can be used to tap that like button. Also, subscribe if you wish to see more content like this. And in the end, who knows what the future holds regarding warp technology. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video that will be about the largest black hole that's ever been known to exist.